Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing a spoiler for the car, um, a ducktail or duck bill, whatever you want to call it. Duck bill doesn't make sense because it's on the back of the car. I haven't really got a plan for for how I'm going to do this. Well, I've got a rough idea of how I'm going to do it. So um, let's just let's just let's just let's just do it and see what happens. Okay, so um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably might have seen um, some really ghetto. Um, version of my spoiler. I basically just got a piece of card and, and cut it off and put it on the back of the car. Uh, and it looks like this. That's what it looks like. That thing. That thing there. So obviously you're just kind of gauging what it, it could kind of look like. Um, turn that off. That's obviously what what we're looking at at the moment. Kind of a bit over the top. So probably going to go pretty, pretty subtle with it. Well not subtle subtle but more subtle than that. So I'm going to make um, a base plate first um, and then a back piece and then a kind of top piece to kind of give it that curve uh, and then put fiberglass over it, fiberglass matting uh, to see, uh, well, fiberglass matting on it to kind of yeah, give it that, that structure and then hopefully it'll work and then we'll peel all the card and stuff off and be left with a spoiler. So I'm going to take these bits together, um, so I've got one long piece obviously, cut it and then put it on the top of the trunk and then do um, a little, yeah, mark it up and cut it. Pretty straightforward. Just draw around it now and cut it out. That's all taped down now. Um, got to make the back piece. Probably it's going to be like kind of half of that. I think half, like kind of to there. Set on a shape and height, so that kind of angle and that kind of thickness. Let's stick that onto there. I'm totally guessing this, by the way. <laughs> section there that's kind of kind of brought it further in main thing is that that kind of gap there which I didn't really kind of think about drawing a line of how I want it to curve so I'm going to cut that on either side cut those bits and see what it looks like it's kind of struggling a little bit um, those corners kind of don't know what to do with them got rid of that that bit there it's just it's just that shape that I'm not massively happy about I like that kind of shape there so what I might have to do is do the fiberglass the top bit first the top and the back here and then kind of work out a way of maybe angling that that looks right apart from that bottom bit so uh, <laughs> yeah it looks it looks it looks pretty good so yeah fuck it let's just um let's just fiberglass it why not <laughs> That kind of worked. Um, the bit behind me there, that worked. Um, but because <laughs> it took so long for me to do the rest, the back dried partially and wouldn't fold over. So I've probably got to wait till it dries and then cut that off and redo that bit off the car because it's uh, like that and putting the stuff on it it's just dripping everywhere and <sighs> it's the next day now um i kind of have a bit of a setback yesterday uh, nothing bad, it was just my niece and nephew came around and kind of all hell broke loose. So I've done more progress on the um, on the spoiler, obviously while they were here. Um, the top section's done, the back section's kind of semi done. What I'm going to do is extend it down more so it kind of re reaches the bottom, I'll show you now. That's what we're currently looking like at the moment, um, just to tie that on with tape. So the top section is, is done, bottom section is kind of done to this, this curve here. Um, 
what I'm going to do is probably chop off this excess bit here and then mask it up and extend it down to meet this point here so it's going to look a, look a lot neater kind of wrap around and give it a nice look now the end bits the ends which are the bit that are really giving me a bit of trouble so I've just quickly lashed on some bits on the ends here um, to kind of get an, kind of get a rough a rough idea of what it will look like shape but it's finding it kind of difficult to get the right kind of shape because what I don't want to do straight to there and then along for some reason I think that's gonna look a bit a bit weird I don't know I don't know I'm kind of in two minds about it because what I want is that kind of shape that that angle I want this line to follow like that um, that's what I want. So again, like I did with the fender flares, you know, they're following the lines of the body, which works. So I want this line here to to mimic that line there. So it go all the way up there. So um, yeah, so don't know what to do really. Uh, what I'll probably do first is kind of trim this um, and maybe. Just cut these bits off and then kind of start again. Right. Okay. So let's um yeah let's let's trim this bit down and and uh, yeah go from there. end caps um, trim them up a little uh, they look a lot better that looks a lot better than it did before but what I'm gonna do is um, fiberglass fill all this here um, this is also just a kind of like a base like a shell so I can fiberglass fill it I can try and start getting some kind of shape to it put a shitload of filler on that wing now um, it's gonna take a long time to to sort out. I'll show you something else as well um, with the overfender. So with the um, with the overfender, um, I had you know a decent amount of clearance, but I wanted to give it a bit more clearance. <laughs> I don't know why. Just just so I can get a wider wheel in there. I don't know how wide I'm going to go with the wheels, but it's, it's probably going to be pretty wide. Um, so what I've done is I've pulled out the corners. What I've done is put these spaces behind that point and the same on the other side of the tire um, and you'll see that's what that's done is that that's flared it out you might see it's flared it out it's giving it more of a more of an angle out let's see it this way you can see it kind of steps out it steps out more now so um, I've gone underneath and I've filled the gap under there same on this side and filled that gap there so that's looking way more well, way neater anyway um, so we've got yeah you know, we've got loads of room got loads of room now I don't have any wider wheels but I do have a bunch of spaces lying around so uh, what I think I'll do is um, probably jack the car up the back uh, take that wheel off and see how many spaces I can get on there I only just managed to get 10 mil on there. Let's see what it looks like. Now before I put the car down, um, I've got a pile of exhaust bits um, there. Um, pipes and my pipe and 
ends as well. Those, those tips there. Um, what I'm going to do is basically do a, a straight pipe version of the back box. What I'm going to do is run, obviously, the Y, that Y pipe there from from that pipe there, and then do straight pipes all the way across here. And I've kind of mocked up what or well, where that will kind of that will kind of sit um, sit kind of like there. But we'll have that that tip on it instead but obviously just a single three inch uh, kind of slash cut but I'm going to put it kind of back there so it'll kind of end up sitting like that yeah stop messing around uh, so I'm going to lower the car down now and see what the spaces look like well I know what they're going to look like it's going to look wider it's going to look the same but wider you can see now we um no. Pretty much got it, got it where it needs to be, and that's 10 mil out. I mean, when it's lowered, obviously, you know, it can camber in more. Um, obviously, I can get away with a lot wider if I want to. Uh, maybe something like, like an 11J wheel. I don't know. Um, still like loads to, loads to mess around with, but it's good to know that I've got loads of clearance there. Um, if I want it. Done a load of filling now and sanding on the uh, on the wing. It's been ages to get get the shape right, but I'm just kind of working on one corner at a time, um, bit by bit. Got that shape pretty much dead on. Um, I wanted it to kind of flow with the uh, with the wing and not be too not not be upright. You can see there it's it kind of flows got a nice angle there but it's gonna take as you can see a lot of filling we buy some more filler and <sighs> fill the uh, fill the other bit I mean that's what that side looks like obviously it needs to be cut around there this is what the other side currently looks like um, yes yeah, so that's got a long way to go so I'm gonna do kind of like one half first um, and kind of one way around but that's that's got a really nice curve to it basically basically exactly what I wanted um, shape wise I wanted it to be um, kind of subtle go with the lines of the arch as well uh, lines of the go with the lines of the back of the car you can see the, the curve yeah pretty perfect right that's all for uh, that's all for this episode well that's, uh, that's all for today um, more next time thank you very much for subscribing all that stuff, liking, commenting, appreciate it all. Honestly do. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, links down below. Um, link for the shop for the shirts as well is below. T-shirts will be coming soon. Um, yeah, thanks for subscribing, new subscribers. Hello, hope you enjoy all the content. Um, it is a kind of slow build, um, so bear with me. See you guys next time. Subscribe, you fools. Wonder this time where